While the Barton School of Business will be housed in this new building, the building is, of course, a university building. So students from across campus will be able to use the facilities that we have. For example, we will have a 300-seat auditorium that will be open for university-wide events. We will have a snack bar, and students can certainly enjoy the snacks in there. When classrooms are not used by the business uh, faculty, those classrooms will certainly be available to, to professors across campus. And then we will have study rooms, two, four, and six-person study rooms that are on a first-come, first-serve basis. So students across campus can take advantage of those as well. Good morning. I'm privileged to serve as the Dean of the W. Frank Barton School of Business. As you just saw in the video, our plan is to build a new home for the business school. This new home will be called the Wayne and K. Woolsey Hall and will be located on, uh, in the center of campus next to the YMCA. As Wichita State grows, uh, as Wichita State grows, it is important that uh, we keep current with, the, with, with today's teaching and learning model. This is vast, vastly different from the model that existed 20 years ago when most of our students were born. We want to create learning spaces that enhance the educational experience of all students. Each college has a different need based on their academic programs and pedagogy. Our vision in the Barton School is to be the international model of knowledge transfer through applied learning, research, and business engagement. If you look at the graphic on the right, there are four stakeholders that we wish to connect in the Barton School. Certainly our students, our faculty and staff, our alumni, and our business partners. <clears throat> the key features of the new building will include a fixed seating and flexible seating classrooms ample of group work-study rooms for our students and faculty. Most importantly, every floor will have classrooms, study rooms and areas, and faculty and staff offices, thereby bringing all our stakeholders together. The large welcoming atrium on the main floor is designed as a gathering space and for our businesses and employers uh, of our students to collect and showcase their employment opportunities to the students. A 300-seat auditorium will uh, allow us to host distinguished lectures as well as some large classes. There will be a comfortable student lounge and a coffee snack bar in the new building. As we look at the rendering of the atrium, you can see the wide open welcoming space that uh, will help us recruit the, and retain the best and the brightest students that we can. Imagine a group of businesses in, on the floor of this atrium talking to students, talking to them about employment opportunities, visiting with them, sharing their ideas, sharing the future of the industry in which the student is interested. One of the things I want to point out is uh, a conceptual rendering of the floor plan. And you can see from this floor plan that there are multiple colors. Each color represents a different functional space. And I'm going to highlight three different areas that are of prime importance. The, blue, the light blue and the dark blue areas, as you can tell from the rendering, are classrooms. The green, off, green spaces are faculty and staff offices. And the pink or lavender rooms are conference rooms and study rooms. Notice that on this first floor, you have a combination of classrooms, study rooms, conference rooms, and uh, of, uh, and office spaces. As we go through each floor, keep in mind these four colors, and you will see that they're replicated on every single floor, which allows us to bring students fa and faculty together in a much more welcoming environment than we currently have in Clinton Hall. This project started out quite some time ago in 2014 as a very ambitious $76 million project with 50% to be funded from philanthropic uh, uh, gifts. Over time, we have refined this project and right-sized the building to make sure that it retains the core functionality that we desire and that it is affordable. Today, our 
our building project is a $50 million project. It will have about 130,000 square feet, half of which will, will come, from, uh, uh, actually 60% of which will come from uh, private funding. We are very close to finishing the $30 million uh, private funding for this building. <clears throat> so why a student fee? The state has no plans to fund a, a capital projects. State funding of higher education has been steadily declining while costs are going up. I remember when I started out in 1982 as an assistant professor, my annual salary was $26,000. Today, if I were to hire a similar person, I would be paying approximately $145,000 to $150,000. Utility costs, healthcare costs, they're all increasing. Think about the Radigan Student Center. Were it not for the vision of students that were at Wichita State University when plans for the Radigan Student Center were being constructed, and, and were it not for those students that imposed, self-imposed a credit hour fee to build the Radigan Student Center, our students today would not be enjoying this wonderful facility which has gathering space, uh, and uh, uh, bowling alley in the basement, and food service as well. The bigger picture is that the infrastructure uh, improvements uh, benefit all colleges. More importantly, the business building will be open to all WSU students, the auditoriums, the classrooms, the meeting spaces, and of course the snack bar as well. We welcome students to enjoy the snacks that we will be selling in that, in that facility. Clinton Hall will be remodeled, our current home will be remodeled after we move out. It will be remodeled for other uses, and, and it is in a prime location so that the plan is to have st centralized student services and additional classroom space in Clinton Hall. Finally, projects across all colleges will provide the learning spaces that WSU needs. A lot of our campus needs improvement so that we can tailor our educational mission to the needs of students today. Thank you very much.